Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kid here back with some more Laws Judgment. In a previous video, we did some story. You met the handyman. And we did a uh, uh, UFO story. Now we're going to do another Paradise VR side story. And then we'll continue on with the story, I promise. Yagami. Yo, Yagami. You check out Dyson Cube lately? Those upgrades I mentioned are fully implemented now. Oh, yeah. Did say something about that. What exactly did you change? I actually love the fact that, like, you know how beat up we are because of the story bit? I love that it's in there right now with, like, Yagami's portrait here. I bet you, like, if I went... Uh, I'm sure, like, oh, like, the next day it'd be all better. And I bet if I came here it would be, you know, better. Heh. <laughs> You'll see when you put on the headset. Just swing by the venue and try gotcha. it. Okay, we will do. Paradise VR upgrade. Ah! Okay, if it just gave me the story. Okay, it looks like it just gave me the story, uh, side story. So maybe that's just something I'll check out later. I'll check that out on my own terms. Uh, for now, I want to like, let's do story. Cause I feel like we haven't really done that much story. So now it's time to head back to. Back to the Yokohama 99. I should also like go back to Kamurochi. Eh, I'll wait till the next, because we're still in the same chapter as we were. So I was like, I should go back to Kamurocho at some point to see some of the side stories that maybe popped up there. No new things pop up. Alright, Sukumo. Lay it on me. It's hard to imagine. And you're saying Sawa Sensei was given this picture? Right. And it must have really shaken her up. She wouldn't even stick around to have a chat. Some mysterious woman handed her the photo. She's gotta be linked to Hiromi because she was murder in one way or another. If I had to guess, she's working with or for Ehara. But I couldn't tell you how they're connected. It might even be that she's the one who hired the Yokohama Leomong to attack you at that restaurant. If yeah. they're telling you to drop the Mikoshiba case, they're connected too. <laughs> a threat like that might have worked on a run-of-the-mill detective in over his head. But how do you think you even got on their radar at all, Yagamishi? Mikoshiba's case is so big they needed hired muscle to stop you? If I'm that much of a thorn in their side, the police investigation is worse. Yeah, that's true. Even if they stop you in your tracks, Kanagawa police would just pick up the trail right where you left off. I have to figure. I'm not the one they were really there to threaten into staying silent. It was Sawa-sensei. Four years ago, when Toshiro Ihara killed himself, apparently, she thought Mikoshiba was the one bullying him. I set up that meeting with her so she could tell me more about what really happened at the time. But as of now, someone's pretty bent on making sure she doesn't reveal that. That'd be my guess. Well, if that's the case, I'm afraid their threats were actually pretty effective. Sawa-sensei's lips are sealed now. There's not much we can really do yeah, about it. Yeah, we probably don't, don't want to bother her too much I'm about it. I'm not near done yet. Besides, they've already made one big mistake. Yeah? They hired a gang thinking they could scare a detective off the scent. No way in hell they're expecting me to double down even harder on it. Oh, hell yeah. You're totally right. That was a rather massive oversight on their part. They had no idea who they were fucking with. That night, the news broke on every channel and across the internet that the corpse found in each show had been identified. Every student, teacher, and faculty member at Serio High School would know how Hiro Mikashiba died. The details were heartbreaking, and a lot of lives were about to be turned oh, upside down. Oh, this is the end of the chapter, isn't it? Yep, I fucking knew it. God damn it. Oh, well. Ooh, red knife. Previously on Judgment, Lost Judgment. The alleged bully, Hiro Mikashiba, turns up dead. There is no mistaking the motive in his murder. As Yagami looks into the heart of the matter, 
a suicide four years prior. He is met with brutal backlash from the underworld. Why does Yagami face resistance at every turn? As night falls over Ichincho, the answer slips further into darkness. Red knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Oh, yes, Lordy. We have grief counselors on site. Hello. You've reached yes. Serio High School. Ah, uh, yes. Right. It's tragic news. Miko Shibakun was one of our student teachers here, and the school is coping with it as best we can. Of course. Yes, our parents and guardians have every right to be upset about this. Yes. Oh, yes. We're, now we're to the murder victim found in Izazaki Ijingsho. Yes. Authorities announced that they have identified the body as Hiro Mikoshiba. Yeah, I was about to say. Seirio High School. Autopsy reports indicate the cause of death was blood loss from a sharp object. Mikoshiba was oh. reported as a missing person two months ago. So, what's the plan today, fellas? Honest, this hangover is kicking my ass. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of useless. <sighs> Maybe don't drink until sunrise. That's no good. Without you, Kaito-san, who's going to be the brains of this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to manage, man. I figure I'll head back to Serio High today. I should check in on Sawa-sensei, see how she's holding up. She's got a lot on her shoulders now, huh? Pretty teacher like her doesn't deserve it. You know, Kato, I hope you get a chance with her. I really right from do. the outset? Sawa-sensei flat-out denied that Mikoshiba ever bullied Toshiro Ahara. But then we learned she confronted him about his actions four years ago. Which yeah, means see, she was starting like to suspect from not, was the bully. From not being beaten up, so... Then some chicken shades shows up, makes some threats, and suddenly teaches lips are sealed shut, huh? Whoever she was, she has to be involved with the murder. How else could she have Mikoshiba's picture from right before he died? Uh, but here's my problem with that, it's like... If it's tight, like, okay, I guess I somewhat get it in a way is like, why, like, why would they prevent her from telling Yagami about the bullying if they killed him because he did the bullying? Th there's like, there's a contradiction in there somewhere. It's like, oh, hey, you're going to tell Yagami about the bullying. And even though we are like, <coughs> now that's if, that's if. She's part of of the people that killed um, Mikoshiba. I don't think that's the case. I think she's part of whatever. I mean, granted, that, that sounds very weird. It's like, oh, yeah, there's a hu huge syndication of bullying going around, which who knows? But at this point, again, like, that's so weird to me. It's like, why would she prevent someone trying to help with the bullying? And I mean, I guess maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe it's a whole like no, like we're saying out our own type of justice in a way, because the the justice system in Japan is flawed and it fails. So we're doing our own kind of a uh, justice, which that could be the case. It's almost like the killer was trying to hide any trace of bullying, and if so, that's pretty bizarre. Yep, here it goes. Sugawa has Where's it with that? us. I mean, if Mikashiba really was the bully, why bother covering that up? Wouldn't it work in their favor if word of that spread? That way the murder would be, I don't know, more justified? Yeah, I do see the logic there. Yeah, there we go, see? Okay. But what gets me is, why would Sawa-sensei change her answer like that? Have you considered she may have been pressured to hide the truth? Perhaps by an overcautious superior? I wouldn't put it past Chairman Okuda to pull something like that. I doubt he has that kind of sway over her, though. Sawa sensei doesn't exactly mince words with him. That's true, too. Guess we'll have to ask her directly if we really want to know. Yeah, but didn't she make it pretty clear you need to keep your distance? What kind of a detective would I be if I gave up because of that? Yeah, right. <laughs> Point taken. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, sure is. Help me kick this damn hangover. Say what? Might as well hang back, Sugira. Only I can get in and out of the school without raising a red flag right now. That's true, too. 
Maybe we'll continue on uh, some of the, the dance and stuff. I'm still nothing new there. Uh, maybe I'll head into Kamurocho. Maybe I'll pick up some quest. See, it's daytime. And if there's another case over here. Oh no, that's the that's the extract one. That's the extract. So that's something I can't really do right now. Um, I really should at some point just go around all these green the the green spots and like pick up chatter words and such because those could unlock it. I'm not a big fan of that in all honesty, but I'm okay with it to some like, like it's not like oh I have to like do that to get unlock some side missions. It's like I'm not okay with it. But to some extent, I am. I'm like, okay, I get it. So it's like, okay, I, to I get it why that's a thing, so. I'm gonna assume I can skateboard here, right? It'd be weird if they won't let me skateboard here. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, wow, they don't let me skateboard in Kamurocho. So here I am, doing all what I am, pretending I'm a superman. Uh, nope, nothing here, which is weird. There's not even like a question mark thing there, so it's not even like question marks like they did for the one in at Yokohama. Oh, someone dropped an item. Excuse me. That's my toothbrush set. I have to brush my teeth. I have lunch. You're a big help. There we go. Going on to what I am. Pretending I'm a Superman. I think I want to save some of those SP to buy the the gluttony book. Oh, I could have just gone to stereo high from here, son of a bitch. Which I guess makes sense. Crazy taxi. Looks like school's out already. Gotta go check on Sawa Sensei. Oh yeah, we can wrap up that one quest over here, and maybe that there was another quest here too, wasn't there? Oh, Yagami-san. Hmm. Hmm. And you are. It's me, Naito. Thanks for going easy on me the other night. Oh, Naito. Hey, I just realized I didn't know what you looked like under that getup. Yeah, I guess it's the first time you've seen me in a regular uniform. Either way. So, I assume you're in the clear with your teacher? Did your test go well? Yes, it was a close call, but somehow I brought my grade up to a passing yeah. one. Huh, glad to hear it. Guess studying did you some good. Actually, it was thanks to all my research for the body model that I aced my bio exam. That was what ended up balancing out all my other table grades in the end. Looks like that turned out to be a good idea after all, huh? Sure. Except my teacher's still really mad at me. So now I have to clean up the science room every day after school until I graduate. <laughs> You're lucky that's all you got. Since you helped me out, Yagami-san, just let me know if you ever want to try out the gutsy son outfit. Just come by the science room. I even have plenty of fake organs left for you to no. toss. No thanks. Really? That's a shame. Well, I should get going. See you later, Yagami-san. No way. Yeah, that guy never stays down for long, does he? Wonder how he does it. If I ever need to dress as a body model for a case, though, I guess I know where to go to now. Yeah, I'm more comfortable with my own skin. Although I am quite curious if there is going to be a case like that. Uh, which one was this one? Oh, it's just a new one. Okay, sweet. Uh... Yeah, we might as well go check that one out. 
Might as well at least pick it up. If that's not where we have to... Okay, it's not. It's the third floor we gotta go. And I kind of want to check out some of the... Maybe let's go to the dance area again. Start some more some of these club activities. Oh, uh, is that the bitch? No. Different people. Hello there. Oh, hi. Ow! Oh. Ha ha ha, right in the middle. Sorry, Abisu Sensei. We thought you were a soccer goal for a sec. No way. Another bunch of jerk Excuse kids. Excuse me. Hey, are you alright? Huh? What? Uh. What's the matter? Did you get hit so hard your mem you have memory loss? Should we hit you again? Maybe it'll bring your memories back. Uh, uh. Why do you look like Kazuya? What's this bloodthirsty aura? Something's very wrong here. Does he even hear us? Abisu hey, Sensei. Hey. hey, stop. And dispersed. Higama kun, Ano kun, and Iabushi kun, right? Sports aren't allowed in the halls, okay? Ah, 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 my bad. Fuck you, shit kids. Man, <laughs> it's amazing how much energy these kids have. I'll be honest, this has me curious. I felt so much. I felt so much anger in me from him earlier, but. Maybe it was just my imagination. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Amasawa. Hey, what's that, uh, Amasawa? You saw what just happened, right? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, after that teacher got hit by the ball, just giving off some pretty weird vibes. Well. Yeah, there's something I'd like to talk to you about connecting, concerning gotcha. him. If you want to talk, sure, I'll swing by the room later. Thank you so much. Okay. Fuck it! We're going there! What's with those cards? Yagami san, I'm so glad you're yeah. here. You said you wanted to talk about that teacher who got hit by a ball in the hallway. Yes, I did. It's going to be a bit of a long story. Gotcha. Seems like I'm someone wants my help. What should I do? Definitely sounds like I'm going to need to stick around for a while. Yeah, let's hop out. Alright. As the MRC's advisor, I gotta help gotcha. out. Sure. What do you need help with? Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Just have a seat, please. Would you? So, what did you need help with? Yagami-san, do you know Ebisu-sensei from school? Mm -hmm. Ebisu-sensei. That name does sound familiar. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the teacher who greeted me in the hallway. Friendly guy. Yes. Yep, that sounds like him. His real name is Katsuya Ara. He teaches Japanese. He's the type of teacher who's super nice, never gets mad, and always has a smile on his face. And because of all that, people started calling him Ebisu-sensei. As a Ebisu, the god of good fortune. However, mm -hmm. however, that personality is only the way he is now. Does that mean? What do you mean? I've always felt something sinister about Ebisu Sensei, so I looked into his past, and I made some interesting discoveries. First of all, he retired from his previous high school for causing a violent incident. Huh? But didn't you say it was friendly? Yes. Yes, but apparently, at his previous school, he was known as someone who loses his temper easily. And once that happens, he's out of control. He sent dozens of students to the hospital at that school. Hmm, damn. That's a pretty big deal. I also heard he has the strength of a bear. Well... Supposedly, before he was a teacher, he was a professional mask wrestler. He played the villain. Oh, okay. So he was a what? heel. Pro wrestler. And he was playing the part of the heel, huh? Hey! Very few people know about that. They don't recognize him from his wrestling days because he wore a mask back then. I think that wrestling experience bled into his teaching career at his old school. 
They nicknamed him Katsuma the Ogre, for goodness sake. Seriously? Are you sure about this? A mild-mannered teacher like that him. That being said... Well, it seems he expressed his regrets over the incident. And now, here at the Serio High, he's a very kind instructor who never stops grinning. It's like he's a different person. Hmm. Well then, maybe it's all good. Nothing to complain about if he's put it all to the past. No. No, it's not that simple. What does she mean? I should ask her for more details. Trying the patience of a saint. It's almost solid. Sounds like you'd think Ebisu Sensei became a good teacher because he regretted his past actions, right? If so, what's the problem? Unless you think something's going to happen. Well, well, the thing is, there are some sort of delinquent students who are teasing Ebisu Sensei, and they have no idea about his past. So I feel like they're unknowingly playing with fire. Yeah, and come to think of it, some students hit him with a ball. Oh, the pranks have gotten pretty bad lately. If I were to guess... From what I can see, Ebisu Sensei might be on the verge of losing his temper again. Those delinquent students could be in danger, and I don't know what would happen if he really lost it. Who gives a fuck? Let, let them get their asses kicked. And if he causes another incident, there's no way he'll be allowed to keep teaching. Hey. Okay, if that's the case, why don't you just warn the pranksters about Ebisu Sensei? Surely they'll stop the joking around once they know he's the terrifying villain wrestler. No, they will not. No. But that's the thing. They don't believe me. I've already warned them many times. They don't think it's possible for a shrimpy Ebisu to have been a wrestler. Yeah, it is pretty hard to imagine given how he looks now. And he would rather conceal his past, so we can't expect him to confront it. Mm. He caused quite a bit of trouble during his active days. Damn, I wonder what he did. Mask Villain Wrestler. That nice teacher. Yes. Mm hmm. His stage name was Mask Bushimo. Bushamo. Bushamo. What was Mon. that? Bishomon? Apparently, he was unbeatable in the ring. He had the strength of a demon god, I heard. And his enemy's blood would get all over Abisu Sensei and make it look like he was wearing a red robe. Seriously? That's a bit much. I couldn't believe it either at first. But it's the truth. I also heard he would break the rules all the time by using metal objects and weapons. He'd fight outside the ring every day, too. To top it all off, he wouldn't listen to the referee's stop order when he got mad. It was like he lost his mind. And then he would be totally out of control. They told me it would take several people to stop him. I would have never guessed he was so dangerous. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, we can't let this enlightened demon god or whatever it is inside him wake up. Let's do what we can, before there's a tragedy. Well, a truly artful detective can solve any in solve instances before they occur. Remember that yes. one? Of course. You bet. I see. Okay, now that I understand the situation, what do you want me to do, Amasawa? I'd be grateful that you could put a stop to delinquent students' pranks, even if it's just for today. In the meantime, I'll try to find something that will prove to them that Ebisu Sensei did what... What Ebisu Sensei did is in his past. Even a bunch of links will believe if there's proof. Hmm. You sure about this? You'd be ruining his chance of keeping his past hidden. And I'd rather not do that, but this is too important to stand by and do nothing. Sometimes a detective has to expose some real sad truth. Gotcha. Fair enough. So you just need me to guard Ebisu Sensei and stop the prank. Listen, thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Alright, first I'll go where Ebisu Sensei is. Maybe he's in the faculty room. Ah, damn it. I have a feeling if I go to the faculty room, I'll fucking... Yagami-san. Yagami-san. I feel like if I go to the faculty room, I'll start the story again, so... Uh... I mean, I'm pretty sure I think I'm already, like... I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna save the skills to learn other stuff. Uh, check request? Oh, these- Oh, okay. So I can do that from here. Sweet. Uh, what was I looking- Oh yeah, school day. So this one's locked, so I guess let's continue on the- Let's do some more dan the, the dance club stuff, so. You know, I know, like, we would do some story bits, and we'll get to story, don't worry. But...
but for now. Because we got new outfits. Katsuni-san, can you be more expressive? You're so stiff up there. Have you been practicing your I ISOs? Oh, sorry, I'll smile more. Hey! Hey, Gucci-san, you mix up two of the eight counts. Are you practicing at all? Are you even trying? Uh, hmm. What's wrong with Nizio? He's awfully snappy today. Probably wants to win that competition. <sighs> Ishizono. Ishizono. Something bugging you? Ah. Oh. Is it really that obvious? I guess so. I'd say so. <sighs> and now I'm talking it. Yeah, on the rabbits too. Just great. Well, it's good that you recognize you're doing it. It's just so unlike you is all. What's wrong? The pressure's getting pretty bad. I had to come up with the next routine all by myself. Choreography was the one thing Komo Komokodo since they had taken care of for us so far. Ah. Jeez, is this guy ever going to step up for his club? Yes. Oh, so someone mentioned that our last routine didn't have any zing to it. That's been bugging me too. Oh, you mean that the prelims, former idol? Yeah, Yuri Norizuki from Mizaki High. All her routines have zing. She's got that whole superstar thing going on. I can't do this. Uh, how can a team like ours even compete? I've been racking my brain for new moves nonstop since last hey. night. Hey, Nish Nishizono, is it possibly overthinking it? Or at least I don't know if you're in the right headspace as captain. I know. You're right, but... Look, see what's written up there? So... Dance like nobody's watching. The official motto of the Serial Rabbits. So, how does practice go? Did you and everybody enjoy yourselves? Like you were dancing just for the fun of it. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah. So you're saying my bad mood affected everyone else's performance. Shizono. Good leader sets the right stage for their team to flourish. Sets the right tone. Part of that is the attitude the leader chooses to Thank take. Thank you! Thank you, Yagami-san. I just need to look at this right yeah. away. Sounds like a good first step to me. She's really working hard on this routine. Maybe I should study up on dancing so I can pull my weight. Hmm. Where do I even start? We start by practicing. Hmm. This might be out of our league. What you got there, Nishizono? Ni Nishi Nishi Yagami oh, Yagami-san, you mean this? It's a dance manual Hiragaki senpai, senpai gave me. He said he didn't need it anymore. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? He brought a whole bunch of them with him. Here, take one. What? You're just giving me one? Yes. Don't you think it might give you some ideas? Ah, oh, smart. In that case, let me take a look here. Dance textbook locking. Let's see, locking. Switching fluid movements to a total halt at the stop drop of a hat. This seems pretty cool. Could really jazz up the rabbit's choreograph. Choreography. Maybe we should try it out. Fluid EXO locking. Pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. Attain text dance textbooks to use the EX solos. Check them out in, in practice after picking them up in town or during the story. Let's practice. Let's rabbit it up. Got a song in mind? Lock the song for the next meet. Long drill at the beach. We lock the following outfit. Formal. Hip hop. Idol. And I learned locking. Go ahead and pick a costume. What do you think? Which step should we work on? I don't know, I'm just...
Here goes nothing. That wasn't so bad. Fantastic, Yabu-san. Bam, 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 Great job, rabbits. I guess they just wrapped up practice for the day. Um, Yagami-san, there's something I want to ask you. I can't really take this to any other adult. Oh yeah? What's up? Um, can we go somewhere else first? Sure. I guess it's something pretty private. Yeah. I wonder if this is about. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I know this is kind of weird. So, what's wrong? It's about our star rabbit. Maika Takanashi. She's the second year. Although she hasn't been showing up to practice lately. Ah, oh, yep, that's our... That's the girl. What about her? Hmm. What I've been thinking is, we can juice up our own superstar factor if we can get her back. Her stage appeal is just unbelievable, and we could really use the ace up our sleeve. I see. I see. But none of that does you any good if she refuses to practice or compete, huh? Yes! Yep, and that's what I wanted to tell, talk to you about. We need to brainstorm a way to get her back, but... Is there a problem? Um, well... Well, I've been hearing some bad rumors about her lately. My classmate said she saw Micah on a date with some businessman. Does that mean? You don't mean? Yes. Yeah. Remember when you asked me about a sugar baby scammer before? If you're really talking about Micah, maybe that's the reason she hasn't been showing up to practice. Hey. Hmm. Sounds like something I should look into. Huh? Huh? You can do that? Yeah. Of course I can. I'm a detective. It's my bread and butter. I'll see if I can convince her to come back to the rabbit's too. Thank you! Thank you so much! I'm so glad you came to our school. I'd like to start right away, actually. Do you know if she's still here today? No. No, she already left. I actually saw her go, myself. Oh. I wonder where I could find her. Maybe try... Easy... 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 Oh my god. Easy Zaki Road? That's where I was told she goes for her dates. Gotcha. Roads, huh? Okay, good. I'll go look for her there. I got some info. Better update Amasawa. Amasawa. Yeah. Yeah, her name's Micah Takanashi. Don't have proof she's a sugar baby, but it's definitely worth checking out. Understood. I'll be there as soon as I can. Alright, time to hit Izazaki Road to look for Micah, Micah Takanashi. I wonder is like is that technically on lock now or Nope, still not locked, but let's go do it. I 
need to find some roses. Roses for the extracts, people. Going on for what I am, pretending I'm a superman. Ways. All right, just keep going straight. Maybe at some point get a different skateboard. I was need to find out where to spend these fucking points at. Uh, next, next turn. Okay. No, damn it. No, I'm gonna save because it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is like some thundering happening outside. So hopefully, hopefully I can at least. Maybe I'll wrap this up and then I will call it. But we'll see. Is there a Maki Takanishi has been on dates? Well, gee, I freaking wonder. The only girl in the fucking stereo high. Oh, well, there's her. But that's not her. What the? No, it's, it's literally her. Oh, no. Nope. Resemblance puts the person. Oh, okay. Suspicious. Is it her then? It doesn't look like her at all. Unless she's like already inside. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. That was my fault. I assumed she'd be in her uniform, but if she's going on a date with an adult, she probably doesn't want to look like a. No doubt about it. That's Mika Takashi. Luckily for me, she doesn't know my face. She shouldn't get suspicious of me unless I get too close. All right, who should talk to you on the phone? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Can't wait to ride your Ferrari. I bet that's her sugar daddy. Hey, Yagami-san, I'm out front. Let's get together. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. She's wearing disguise, but it's just... We really need to work on her sense of di dis discretion. Oh, boy. Amasawa. Amasawa. Yagami-san. I'm impressed you knew it was me, Yagami-san. How could I not? You're being so weird. No normal person peers into the cafe from behind a utility. <laughs> uh, but I thought I was blending to my surroundings. This is more compl complicated than I thought. Why am I taking along today, I take yes. it? Of course I do. This is an important case. Fine, but just don't stand out anymore, okay? Yes. Understood. Oh, Yagami-san. Takanashi-san's coming out. Yeah, 
It's not like she's meeting someone. Let's tail her. <laughs> right. Let's get on the case. Tailing time. All right, let's go. <laughs> She's laughing at a group of cats. <laughs> Hi, kitties. The hell, she's like going around and talking to cats. Is she is she popular like I am? Perfect, that's actually where I was gonna go. So where's your Ferrari? Sorry, Mika-chan. I'm not really a day trader. Huh? Huh? Yep, here we go. Mika-chan! Mika-chan! So good to see you. Kai-san! Kai-san, is that you? Yeah, I couldn't believe you just left me there without a word. What's the deal That's, there? Uh, um, well, I, uh... Oh, huh? Yep. Huh? What? What are you... <laughs> Relax! I'm not gonna hurt you, baby. I just want to talk, you know, about our future together. If I really? guess... Nobody can see me! Kagami-san, that man, he must be the thug who's so worked up over... Akinashi son. Yeah. yeah. Looks like that was a trap. Looks like this was a trap. Hey! Hey, cut it out. Wah! It's you? Wait a minute. I know you! Oh shit! Yagami! <laughs> no! No! This dude's the look this is the lower level dude of the Kaye game! No! You are Did you know each other? Nope. Nope, don't think so. <laughs> Perfect. Hey! What the? You bastard! Don't tell me you forgot me! Kenta Kaisa from the Kayang Gain! You're in the. Um. Oh, wait. I remember now. You're one of the lowest low lives that kept picking fights with me over Kamurocho. Got a lot of texts about you guys. They were annoying as fuck! If memory serves, you're on the lower run of the Kayang Gain, right? Huh? Lower run my ass! I was one of the kind four. Yeah. Right, the kind four. Whatever. You know, I haven't seen you around town lately. That's your fault. You went and fucked everything up for us. Knocking on our gun running. Nah. Now that I remember. I trust your face on the camera, your friends. You piece of shit. It's all you. You're the reason the kind game lost its dough. I'll stand in the underground our whole damn livelihood. I got run out. I got run out of Camarocho. And then now the Kai Gen's dead! Good! By the way, that's all in the past, right? What does that have to do with you being here and now accusing this young- accosting this young lady? Huh? I got no idea what you're on about! I'm here because this chick broke my fucking heart in a million fucking pieces! In other words... I guess you're just another one of her awful clients then. Whatever the case, let her go. Now. Don't mess with me! You kidding me?! First you kill off the Kai Gen and now you fuck up my love life?! 
Oh, hell no! You're fucking dead! Ha! <laughs> x -Kain. Oh! Hold on. There we go! Shabam! Whack, whack, bam. I hope this is the only guy from the Kyan game we see. This has to be the only guy from the Kyan game that we see. That's all I want, but okay. Sliding right in front of the girls, hell yeah. Again, I'm glad that the mortal wounds don't, like, actually hurt you, or, like, you no, know, hurt your health bar. Good news is I I did buy some items off screen. Kaisai, I never expected you to turn over a new leaf, but if you're making trouble in eating Joe now, I swear. Yeah, like I even could, but the stereo clan and Gomi Jewel, Gomi Jewel, that's what they're called. Gomi Jewel around eating Joe ain't even got sp the space you for me. Piece of shit. It caught up the whole damn town. About the best I could do is mug some fucking drunk. Really now? Uh huh. Yeah, thanks to you, the only pull I've got now is pulling spare change out from under the goddamn vending machines. Like goddamn Ichiban did. Huh. Well, you're still better off on your hands and knees than you are in the underground, anyway. That guy wasn't so bad. And the rest of the kind for? What happened with them? You mean Koga, Sak Sakabia, and Hondo? Well, I uh, happened to run into Kong Koga in town the other day. He did. Um, if I remember right, he was a gun nut, yeah? Yeah, sounds like he had a pretty rough time himself when he first got to Ichin Joe. Oh, he's got a new thing going. He calls it the Neo Ki the Neo Kyan Motherfucker. What? Are you kidding me with that? He's pulling together all kinds of ex Kyan members, trying to get something started here in Ichin Joe. Gotta say though, I doubt he'll get anywhere. Like I told ya, Tuff's already taken. By the way, and have you been pulled in the Koga scheme? Yeah, who knows? Not yet. Still went on the call. Maybe got cut off from the loop this time. Excuse me. Pardon me, I have a question, if I may. Oh yeah. Do you know anyone who goes by goes by the professor? Oh shit! The professor? Mm. What the you actually do? Mm. No. I mean not personally, but when I ran to Koga, he mentioned the professor at one point. I knew it. 
oh, I, I should have mentioned this before the fight. It's like, oh, look, like, ex Kyan gang members. It's, it's going to tie into the school story bit, so. But at least there shouldn't be a system. I heard there wasn't a system. I swear to God. I mentioned the professor at one point. He called the guy unbelievable. Said nobody's capable of resurrecting the Ichinjo underground like the professor is. Koga said that to In you. other words, so the professor's a real person. He's not just a front or a myth. Yeah, behind him is the Neo Kyan gang, led by Koga. The professor must really be something if he's got that smug fuck Koga kissing his if ass. If I were to guess, Yagimasan, I'm getting the feeling that we're onto something even larger than we initially suspected. Yeah. yeah. Yay, my my appeal and teamwork are the only things going up. My focus and guts, fuck that shit. Takanashi-san, how are you holding up? Yes. Okay. May I ask you something? Why have you been working as a sugar baby? I have plenty more questions for her. Hope she's willing to be honest with me. Hey. Takanashi-san, why'd you do it? Was it for the money? That's, uh... Well, the money's for a friend. What? Really? Yes. My friend Kotoko. It can't be. You don't mean... Kotoko it Itokura-san? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Osawa, who's she talking about? A second year student. She stopped coming to school roughly half a year ago. Huh? So she's basically a dropout? At least at this point. Um... I think I had a file on her on my phone. Ah, here. This is her. Pretty, isn't she? Koto was always the center of attention. She got good grades, had plenty of friends. Oh boy, did she get, like, dragged into a scheme? Probably. Koto practically had the perfect school life, but... Then she stopped showing up, and it's all my fault. Does that mean... What do you mean, it's your fault? She and I were both of the school festival committee last semester. And it got really messy. You're referring to the festival committee debacle? It's right around the start of the year. The committee was preparing for our summer festival, the Serio Shasai. Like I said, Kotoko and I were both members. Kotoko volunteered to be the committee chair. There were some third years who won the position, but no one else would dare stand up to her. Yes. Right. She came on a little strong sometimes. She doesn't hold back. Whether it's with one of us or Senpai. This rubble rubbed some of the committee members the wrong way, so they stopped listening to her. She got cut out of the group. That same old story. Causing problems is a pecking order of a place like a high school can have some really nasty results. <laughs> From what I heard though, I thought Itoruka-san was pretty was partially to blame. Ruling the committee like a dictator, refusing to listen to others. Yes. Yeah. I promise Kotokon's not a bad person. She's just kinda harsh. But... That's true, and everyone was ignoring her orders. What did they do instead? Yes. Well, they sure didn't rescue the festival, that's for sure. It was the worst serial saw in school history. The decorations, the stalls, even the planned events were a joke. People were only openly bashing it, even some even booed. And Kotoka Yusuzu hasn't set foot in school ever since that day. I see. I was really stained to be in charge of such a large scale failure. I joined the committee with her. We were best friends. But I just couldn't bring myself to back her up. It's so it's my, my fault she stopped coming to school. It's because I wasn't there for her, like I should have been. But how does that circle back to becoming a sugar baby exactly? Kotokan lives with just her mom. They don't have a lot of money. She earned a scholarship for her tuition. But a while ago, I overheard our teacher say because she's been absent for so long, she's going to lose her scholarship. If that happens, she'll never be able to afford the tuition. She'll get kicked out. You mean... You're a sugar baby to cover Kotoko's tuition? Yes. Yes. Seriously? Wow. You two must have been close. Talking to san How did you meet your clients? A friend told me about this one website and suggested I try to rope in other huh? guys. A website? Are you talking about the professors? So that was real too. Yes. The URL only gets shared by word of mouth between close friends. When I posted on the site that I wanted to make a lot of money fast, I got a direct message right away. From someone calling himself the professor. Which means... Directly from the professor, so you can exchange messages on the yes. site. Yes. The sugar baby idea was his. Told me a cute girl like you can easily make a bundle of money. 
He also told me that you would protect me if I ever was in danger, so I thought it would be okay. Um... Protect you? I did hear a rumor that a bunch of scary looking guys would show up when someone was in trouble. Yes. Yeah, they saved me a few times actually. I'm actually curious who this professor is going to end up being. Is it going to end up being someone that Yag that we ran into in the first Judgment game? Or is it going to end up being either someone completely new or someone that we ran into in Yakuza 7, I wonder? Because when you think of Professor, you think of the Sujimon Professor. I highly doubt it would be him. If it's him, it would be funny as hell. But at the same time, I'm, I'd be like, really? That, that, that didn't really fit him, but we'll see. Yeah, they saved me a few times, actually. I see. Might be the Neo Kyan gang getting tapped for that. Yeah, that's right. I think that takes care of all my questions so far. The Kanashi san, you seem for yourself undangerous to be a sugar baby. You have to quit doing Cats, this. Uh... Can't stop yet. I haven't saved enough money for Kotoko. But the professor works with a real nasty crowd. It's just too dangerous for you. But But I wanna make up for what I did to Kotoko. This is for Kotoko. I wanna make sure she has a place to come back to. So so I'm not gonna stop being a sugar baby. Well, what do we do now? Takanashi san's insists that she continue working to help. Itokura san. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about that. Takanashi san, did you ever actually apologize to Itokura san? Huh? Huh? Well, yeah, did you actually talk to the person? No, I guess I haven't. If you told her how concerned you are for her. No. No. Then what you should do is find her, apologize, and tell her you care about her. Not this sugar baby That's, stuff. Uh... I guess you might be right. So, let's start there. Don't you think that sounds a lot better? <laughs> Takanashi-san, would you yes. would you like that? Yeah. Nagami-san, let me know when you're ready to go look to Itokuro-san's house. Yeah, I might as well go right now. Yagami-san. Are you ready, Yagami-san? I'm good. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, then let's head out. Do, 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 do. So, this is Itokura san's apartment. Ah, it's fully voiced. All right, Takanashi san, we made it. There's the intercom. Okay. Who is it? Um, Kotoko? Can we talk? Micah? Is that you? What are you doing here? I came by because I wanted to apologize. Go home. I'm busy. Kotoko, come on. Can you at least hear me out for one minute? Just go away. Leave me alone. Itokura-san, just a moment. It's very important. This is Kyoko Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club, by the way. Amasawa? Mystery Club? What is this? Takanashi-san's been working as a sugar baby for you. She says she won't quit until you return to school. She's a what? She's a for what? Me? I don't understand what's going on. Oh, Ita that's Kurasan, that's uh. You know that your scholarship's about oh, to be revoked fuck. over your absence. Cassandra Lee Morris, I believe. Takanashi-san has been working as a sugar baby in hopes of covering your tuition. What? Even though she's just been through a very scary experience, she still says she refuses to quit. <sighs> really sounds like her. Now, Kotoko. Hang on. What have you done? And why would you do something like that for me? Well, it's because I wasn't there for you when you needed me. Instead of being a friend, I practically sold you out to the committee. So you started selling yourself to cover a stranger's tuition? Uh, are you stupid? Why would you even think the school would accept your money? Why do you call yourself a stranger? You're my best friend! That... that that's not my point. I mean... Why would you go that far? <sighs> Hello? You gonna give me a reason or what? Yeah, that's Kotoko. Cassandra Lee Morse. Do you remember when you first saw me dance in junior high? You said something I'll never forget, huh? I what? You told the shyest, most self-conscious girl on the planet exactly what she needed to hear to get her butt on stage. Why do I have a feeling she like has a twin? did the trick. Or something. I finally gained the courage to dance in front of an audience, and it was all because you had my back. I 
Like, if anyone makes fun whatever of she's there, holding, I'll too. Like, we right zoomed in me. on that. He told me that word for word. Well, that was just... You inspired me, Kotoko. You taught me what it was like to be brave and to have a friend. Yet, how did I repay you? Uh, I turned my back on you when you needed me the most. Even after you'd always been there for me. I was stupid. I was more concerned about looking good in front of the committee than sticking up for you. So, I left you to deal with your problems alone. I've been wanting to say, I'm sorry, but... I, I just couldn't find the words. Seriously. You waited all this time? Just go home. I'm never going back to that school. Hang on! Uh, Itokura-san. Hello. I'm Yagami, outside counsel Hello. for the MRC. Okay. So what? Do you think you could reconsider that last part? She's not gonna quit being a sugar baby until you're back at Serio. But we stop today, I don't think you want that kind of thing on your conscience. Well... I guess that would suck. If something happened, I'd hate to live with that for the rest of my life. Wow, you there, sound so just concerned. No way. I can't deal with the assholes in my class anymore. Makes me sick just thinking about it. This is going nowhere. How can I convince her to come back? I don't think she wants to join dance club with MRC, yeah. Is that a mystery you're reading? Are you a fan? Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, MRC, what baby! Are... More Maybe members! Interested in joining the Mystery Research Club. Huh? If being around your classmates would be too much, you could start by just showing up to the MRC after school. That should make it easier to work your way up to attending classes again. As for the chairman, um, uh, I'll take care of that. Mm. Now, let's dial this back a bit. Why should anyone have to go to school anyway? It's an institution to educate the uneducated, and that's all. To get people into a state where maybe they'll be of use to society. School is fine for people who lack intelligence and initiative. I don't. So I certainly don't need it. Right. School isn't everything. I mean, I never graduated high school, and I've made my way through things just fine. See? Then what's the problem? Uh, my parents well, were dead? Well, around the school, becoming a counselor, it's made me realize something. Well, my parents died when I was 15. Uh, I got brought up by a Yakuza guy. And uh, yeah, so yeah. Actually, I had different circumstances than you. So. I might have become an adult without, how should I put it, getting to enjoy being a kid. Being a kid? Yeah. yeah. Both Amasawa and all the rabbits. They're living their lives to the fullest with their friends. It makes me wish I'd had something like that. Hmm. Itokura-san, why don't you just come check out the MRC? I wouldn't wish what I went through on anyone. If you come join us and still feel like dropping out afterwards, then I'll respect your decision and leave it at that. <sighs> well, if it's such a big deal to you, I guess I ought to consider it. Then you'll come back? Only after school. And only to the MRC. On the condition that I keep my scholarship. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Yagami-san will work it out. After all, he's a lawyer. Not to self. Convince the chairman to keep all right, Kojo. giving... Wait. Oh, it's, that's skipped it. see you in school. What's the log? Where's the log? Where's the log? Compass. Not to self. Convince the chairman to keep giving money to a rude absentee student. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. I love that. And now it's not voiced. Do you think Itoro-san will come back to school? Hmm. No, no, no. She said she might if she felt like it. I'm sure she will. If Kotoko wants to tell us no, believe me, she would have just said to our faces. Yes. I think she'll come back as well. Itokura-san seems to care a great deal for her friends. I mean, the way she practically burst from her room when she heard Takanashi had been working as a sugar baby. Yeah. By the way. So, Takanashi-san, are you going to lay off the sugar baby stuff and come back to the dance club? Excuse me? Well, would you be able to talk to the chairman about not cutting off Kotoko's scholarship just yet? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll work out a deal with him, as long as Takura-san actually shows up at the school. But I don't think it's going to be difficult. Sire is a private school, so there are way fewer hoops to jump through. Okay, then I'll rejoin the rabbits. I don't want to make anyone worry about me anymore. Yeah. That'd be great. I'll be sure to pop by from time to time myself, too. Um... Also, Takanashi-san, I know today's been a lot, so when you're feeling up to it, I'd like you to tell me what you know about the professor's website. Uh. All right, I'll do it. That's right, we need a lead on the website. You should ask Amasawa to fill me in once she's had that conversation. And we're all the way back here. What the fuck? You could have at least taken me to the school, god damn it. Actually, you know what? I think this is actually perfect. So, guys, I'm actually going to end the part off here because we've been going on for quite a while. Uh, and I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm in love with this game. I'm so in love with this game. Like... We're only in Chapter 4 right now, but even before we were in Chapter 4, when we were in Chapter 3, I was like, this game's already better, in my opinion, than the first. Not not that there's anything wrong with the first Judgment. I mean, I, I'd say the first Judgment had some issues, especially with the whole Kayan game thing, but that whole system was fucked. But I freaking love Lost Judgment so far, just because of, like, how well the story is being, uh, is how well the story is so far and everything, and this... This is just a fantastic game so far, so I cannot wait to just keep playing this game. This game is, it's it's it's, it's a Yakuza game for damn sure because it's giving me the crack like the Yakuza games, like oh, inject it into my veins, give me all more, give me more of that Yakuza goodness. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Lost Judgment. In the next part, guys, we will continue on with. Um, we'll do story stuff. We'll do the story stuff. Let's focus a little more on story stuff, even though I freaking love the school stories going on right now. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe if they involve a new club or something, that I have a feeling that a new club will be picking up here shortly at some point. Because uh, I feel like this is going to be like, this is probably how it's going to happen uh, with every one of these school stories. Let me show you. Uh, with every school story, it's like, okay, we do the mystery club. And then we do... Oh, my lord, this thing definitely got up here. Uh, dancing bunny. What? Who's dancing bunny? Why do they harbor ill will towards that person? That's a new thing that we haven't had before. But my guess is as soon as... It's like, okay, we found out about the sugar baby. She has ties to that professor thing then we're gonna learn like oh wait uh there's something else and then here's another club so it'll open up the third club whatever maybe this one or like some other random one Be like oh i'll open up this club and then it's like okay you can keep doing dance club if you want to which i actually i really like these all so much they're all so fun like this is definitely so much better than kai and stuff although like this is now tied to the kai and gain in some way but it's not to me, this doesn't. It, this isn't as bad as it was in the first Judgment game, but we'll see how. As long as it, I think it's it's the whole you always getting text messages from Kim San that oh that kind of pissed me off a lot. So how it's up now is not that bad, but I I think that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go talk to Amasawa San about that meeting that she'll have, and then it's like oh hey this happened. It's like hey. Uh, she told me about this, and then it's like she found the website from this friend who's part of this club type thing. So that's probably what's going to happen. So, I, and I think that'll be a good way to do it, go about it. So, but yeah. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Lost Judgment. In the next part, guys, we will continue on with the story. I think we'll go on with story for quite a bit because uh, I've been doing a lot of side content. Like what? This is only part ten. So a lot of the parts have been just side content stuff. So. Maybe we'll, the next part will be story, and the part after that will be story as well. And then the part after that, I'll do some of the more side content stuff. But, yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah. And, as always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That is in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG, Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you. Oh, so, yeah, what I'm going to do off screen, I'm just basically going to go around to these, like, you know, listening spots. These listening spots just go around and pick up more chatter and stuff and like see what's going on and such. So, and I'll probably do that back in Kamurocho as well. So, yeah, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat and subscribe to the main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RPG, Kim Kid Twitter are in there too.
Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.